Right, here's question three, and hopefully the sound's not as muffled, okay? So, question three, what you've got is, don't let this put you off, because it looks quite a, a large number of bits, okay? First of all, you think, well, it's a positive, because there's not a negative sign. So what you do is, you put the zero there, okay? Now, what's happening here is, we can move this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So you would end up with decimal point, one one zero one one so that's moved seven places now remember if you're moving to the right it's a minus seven okay so this exponent's going to be minus seven and hopefully you'll be thinking oh well if it's a minus number we need to then start thinking about two's complement okay but we'll deal with the mentissa first of all we'll just put one one zero one one so that's one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay? Actually, you've got your 16 bits here. Now, the exponent, what we have to do, you have to do two's complement. So, we're going to we're gonna look at what positive 7 is. So, positive 7 is when we go... So that's 4 plus 2 plus 1, that's just positive 7. What we then do is we then flip it. I'd probably recommend putting a 1, 2, 8, 64, 32, because that's where I'm going wrong there. And then we add 1, okay? So what we've got here is we've got 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, okay? And that's now your exponent, okay? So that's minus 7 using 2's complement, and you just put that there. And that's your answer to this, okay? So the only, the, the tricky bit here is if all the binary, all the ones are actually to the right of this, you're going to have to move the decimal point away to the right-hand side, and that's a negative, just like you do with your maths and exponents, okay? And that is question three.